Alright, we're back with the second video. Had some technical difficulties with some glue. I guess we're going to have to check whenever you buy your glue from Amazon or Walmart, whatever you get it from. Make sure it's not clumpy. Because we almost ruined this one right there. Some, some clumps come out of it, but Jamie put the shake down on it and hopefully it don't stop up the end of the bottle. But... That's the reason why we use these bottles because if you do have clumpy paint, you won't see it in the paint until you pour it out over your canvas and then it's too late. But in these bottles, uh, what do you? Whenever you're putting it in, sorry about that. My 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 wife was sticking her hands down in my pants. And I was trying to figure out what was why she was messing in my pockets, trying to take my money. She beats me up and stuff too. That's how we know each other. She used to beat the crap out of me and take my school, my lunch money. She was in a she was in a couple of grades earlier than I was. She was so mean. You're so cool. She would jump me after school, and I I, I thought she just did, really didn't like me. But apparently, whenever girls treat you mean, they like you. What what is going on? Like why why don't you just tell me? Hey, I kind of like you. No no, we gotta. Kick me off of playground equipment. And what? <laughs> you are so full of it. Sorry, guys, it's kind of hot down here. It's hot. Oh, it ain't as hot as it has been, girl. You didn't even want to be in this room about about last month, a few weeks yeah, ago. It was bad. Alright, so for our base color, we're going to go with black. I mean, any black you find up there will work. Just try not to get... If you're going with the apple... Uh, let me find what it's called. The, the apple barrel. Make sure you get gloss if you're using that paint for your, uh, you know... For your base or you know what you're mixing with your pouring medium that's about the cheapest acrylic paint you can get is the apple barrel it works too i got plenty of art with it if you want it to have a shimmer and a shine buy a tube of that acrylic metallic silver and mix in with it believe me you'll get some shine out of it anyway so we're going to use black now these these things are what we're going to try to use we're going to have to go really slow and do this this may take a while uh, I kind of needed something, if I could find like a bigger, bigger and a taller ring, that would be better, but we're going to look through our stuff real quick here because I'm still mixing up paint. This is all part of the process. I'm just waiting to see what these, these colors are going to look really good with each other, Haley. I mean, they're going to look amazing. And I know y'all are probably wondering what this is. This is a stainless steel cake pan that you can uh, order off of Amazon it, make sure you get the stainless steel the metal one that's got the metal bearings they last a lot longer you can oil it with some gun oil and uh, really get some spin out of it but to, with this type of painting you don't have to you know spin it really fast or else you're, you're going to have a mess to clean up I'll let you know you're going to have a big mess to clean up you ain't going to be spinning it no more than that, but you want to give it a few practice spins to make sure you got the artwork centered whenever you do this. Because if it's out of center, it won't evenly spread your paint whenever you're using the centrifugal force. Kind of like an unbalanced tire on a car. It just, it'll shake the paint, meaning it'll, it'll pull out further than one area, and you don't want that because you may have a really good design that you're wanting to keep and just spread out, but... What about the PVA, Jamie? This was another good type of uh, paint. I, I thought that was where you do your, uh, <laughs> your your graphics on there, your stenciling. Yeah, the, the but, gel. We're not, we're not going to be doing any stenciling in this video. We're just sticking with the basic pour, just basic stuff you can get at Walmart. If you wanted to go up there, you can take $40 minus the cake pan and being able to spin it. But we're also going to show you one where... You don't even use this. You do it all by hand, and that's really where your your talent comes out at. This is the only other ones I got. You know what? We're just gonna go. 
we'll go with the heart one. We'll see. We'll see what that does. That looks like. Yeah, yeah. We're we're good. We'll do, we'll do the heart one. It's gonna be. All right. So now. You want to start with putting down your black. The reason why the black is important is because you need something for this paint to travel on. So, if, it, if there's nothing for the paint to travel on, it, it's going to roll your art up underneath it, and it's not going to turn out very well. A lot of, if you got a design on there and you're wanting to keep it, you will probably lose that design whenever you uh, go to go to move it so get it about right to there that's that's good enough and this looks like it's got some metallic in it already I uh, yeah I can you can see it up underneath this light all right so now that we got that now you got bubbles popping up everywhere you're gonna have that problem so you take a just a regular torch you don't you can get them at Walmart too they're not Major, you do not have to have this thing turned wide open. Just, just enough to pop bubbles, and you can see them popping as I do it. Try not to burn your canvas too. That's a, another really important thing not to do. You just, you just sit there and you kind of look for them wherever you see them. Pop them. Just pop, 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 just like that, and then it'll spread itself out. Now. And also be careful not to fully burn your paint. Yeah, if you hold this torch down on your paint, get get ready. It's gonna mess it up. You gotta be you gotta be quick or snap it. Like see I got more bubbles coming up. I just well you may need to add some more oh I fully more gas it. to it. Yeah, a lot of bubbles coming up in this stuff, which is fine. With what we're going to be doing with the bu with the bubbles coming up in it, it don't matter. If it's got bubbles all in it and you're like, oh my God, you know, you start freaking out about it, don't do that. Because it may actually add a design to your painting that will be unique. Now, you drop this right there in the center. Uh, all right, come, come over here, Haley. Now what you want to do, you don't want to, you don't want to mix it. Yeah, just move the whole chair out of the way because you're gonna be, you're gonna be standing up. So, all right. Now what, I, what you can do is you don't want to layer the whole thing. Like do, do it in threes. But the next layer, do a different layer on top of it, and then you can take this and you can separate the layers with like you can do it like that like if you want to I'll, I'll show you just for instance okay. just real quick just to show you I guess this is going to be a pretty neat oh, right it's okay this stuff ain't got to be perfect just drop it and now you see where to put the colors at there 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 it's a little bit a little bit thin you don't have yeah you don't have to do that and don't squeeze really hard. You just want to just lightly cover that area. All right, go to your next one. Yeah, just like that. You're doing good. You leave it open. It's okay. And that they ain't gonna dry out. This stuff takes a little while to dry, unless you know a quick drying method like I do. And kind of get it all over that black area over there. Go with your blue. Make sure you get a good amount in there. That way it pushes it back even. See how it's pushing your line back over? Get it up there to the edge. There you go. Ooh, don't move it though. You lift it up, boy. We got problems. Alright, I'll do a layer. So, you see what colors you got down in there now. You got the darker purple, we still got the lighter purple. So the next time, now what you want to do, is you can take this, you can 
drizzle. A little drizzle over it. You ain't got to get crazy with it. Then the same thing. You want to put this purple. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, you'll catch it real quick if you got problems with your, with your, uh, with yeah, your like stuff. Out there. Yeah, yeah, we it'll catch it in that tip. So, <laughs> you got cats and everything else trying to ruin everything right now. Go with this purple right here. Try to do it where everybody can see it, but just like that. Yeah, you don't want to be like white knuckling it into there, squirting, you know, with 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 uh, unnecessary forces, because it will mix your paint up and it will be muddy. What I mean by muddy is you will not have a. Uh, uh, you'll have colors mixing that you don't want to be mixed, but sometimes, you know, mistakes turn out looking right. Yeah, go ahead with some of that blue. Yeah, there you go. Just try not to stack your same colors on top of each other, if you remember that. Keep going with it. You're good. Alright, so now you want to use this purple on top of the green. This purple. Because if you mix too many of your colors next to each other, you won't have a good diverse mixture. There you go. And then you want to use that purple into this corner with the blues. That way your cooler colors are mixed with each other. And then I think that's going to be enough. Uh, uh, wait, what? Whenever you see it do that, you got to stop. Let, let me do this one from now on. Because we're going to have, I'm going to have to dig that out of the painting. That's going to be another paint. Clumpy glue will ruin your day just like what it's doing right now. It's, it's trying to ruin ours. I just, just squeeze it in Jamie's direction. <laughs> and whenever it blows all this stuff out of here. Lord, have mercy. Just problems after problems. Yeah, guys, don't ever get your glue and, and, and mix it up. Keep your glue separated from your water until the day that you're ready to pour because this is almost useless now. We can't even get our colors out of here because of the uh, clumpiness. So, may not happen, Haley. This one may have just got ruined because, I mean, it's just straight dry glue into there right now. It's a big old clump. It's stopping up the whole end of the bottle. Hold on. Okay. Hopefully I got it. This is a really nice color too. And I really yeah. wanted to see it work. Alright, there we go. I got it in there now. Alright. Alright, you go next. So, what you would want to do for here is going to be... Uh, we got plenty of white in the middle. Uh -uh. We got plenty of white. So go with some more colors. Grab we can do that purple there. Get it over that blue. Alright, whoa. See how it's trying to push it? That's how you know how much paint you've had. Then you can go with the blue on top of that. Yep, put it on there. Add it into that corner until it starts pushing it back this way. Keep going with it. You're good. Get it up in this back corner, too. Alright. Keep going. See, we've already got a cell outbreak going on. It's already doing some stuff. Alright, now go to your uh, green. Teal. Wouldn't you put that there? Yeah, actually you would. Okay. And then put teal on top of that. Here. So we'll, Can I do the next layer? We're going to have to hurry. I know that. Here's the teal just, clip. I'll work this one. You just tell me where you want it. You want that one on top of there? Oh, we've already got You do. Purples. Wait. Blue? Uh, yeah, I 
Yeah. Do that. Yeah, that right. Hello. Here you go, man. Go with it. Now remember, some of this, the smaller bottles has cell activator into it, mm -hmm. so it's going to pop through these purples. Okay. Well, uh, we'll do, I guess. Well, I mean, the white is the divider. You yeah. want me to do another? Okay, I'll yeah. do another zigzag of a. Uh, all right, right there. Now. That way we can start over on colors. And then we'll put the dark purple down here. Get it in there, good. Right there. All right. Yeah. Go with the. Uh, we'll do these. We'll do these last. Go ahead. You hit this corner over here, and I'll hit this one. Because what really what is up underneath is what's going to pop through. Okay, that looks like it's pretty even. Now, what you want to do from here is go ahead and grab your paints. We're going to do one more one more thing because I really, really like this purple. That's my favorite color. Okay, and that way I'll give it, give it a chance. Go ahead and cap all these and move them to the side. And believe me, you want to start moving stuff now because this is where things are going to start getting interesting. <laughs> this is where the mess is created. The big mess. Alright, so now that you done got to this point, you done layered your colors, you done put your cell activator in, you're all looking at it. As you see, we got a breakout in colors already over here. So, whenever we go to lift this, you want to try to. Okay, Jamie's informing you where she's going to put her stuff because that's going to help you with your painting. Yes. No. <laughs> well. Alright, anyways guys, we're going to take this and we're going to lift it up slowly. Don't snatch it up. Just like that. Now, you, you, you see a heart in the center. What? It's okay. It'll be alright. Now, what you can do now, you're going to have some bubbles that you're going to have to deal with. So, and this is going to also like make it sell up really good. See how it's already popping through the black? Alright, now we're going to give... You know you want your colors to flow out towards the edge. So, we're going to put a little bit just like this. This is going to help it help the colors stretch a little bit. So you all, we already don't need it over here because we want it to go the other way. But this is basically to help the paint flow. So come out here to the edge, come back, come back. And any time that you do this, you will come back over it with a torch from a distance. You ain't gotta get crazy with it. Try not to put it directly on the canvas. Alright, you've got a hole right there that's filling up. So you can see how good this stuff flows. Now, now the old school method is you would pick this up and you would do that. But if we're trying to swirl an image out, uh, basically you just spin it. But you don't spin it fast. If you spin it too fast, you may lose your, your design. So you take it. Centrifugal force starts pulling it. See, it's already coming off the edges. Just like that. Now, see, once you get a good part that's falling off here, say, hey, I want to, you know, I want to save that. Then you can pick it up. You can shift it back the other way. You don't tilt it a whole lot. Or we'll go ahead and, and push it over this edge down here. Right about there. And then try to bring it bring it back if you got a design in there that you really really like just like that down the side and I know a lot of the the cell stuff is pouring off but you just gotta wait for it to be done and right there now set it down and wait for the magic to happen 
because this is where you're going to start seeing all your different cells and all your different colors. Some people, yeah, seeing the blacks, see they're already starting to pop through. That's what you're looking for. You get a little bit on your hands, it ain't no big deal now. You want to take this and you want to use some of this fresh paint. You can scoop in an area where you don't have anything. You touch your, touch your corners up. Pick it up from right here. Just put you a big old glob and let it fall off. But do cut and take off where it's not dripping your paint anymore. Whoops. You can have whoops in these a lot. It don't really. You want to just make sure it's not dragging your paint off the canvas. That's really important to scrape the edge where it's dripping. Because if you don't, it will eventually pull all your paint off of your canvas and you really won't have a lot to look at. You can scoop up some of these pretty colors and drop them down the sides. Like, you probably can't really see it, but these edges are not completely covered. So you can come up here, drop it, and just let it run down the side. Move it around, move it around. Check and make sure you got it all good. And I know you, there's a lot of stuff. So now what you can do, since you got cell activator, now heat brings the cells out. So what you want to do, run over areas that have like a lot of one color. You don't want that. And you can also see the, uh, the glue stuff in it that we're fixing to pull out too. But yeah, this one looks really good. Good marble effect. It's got a lot of blue right there, but I like that blue. The blue is pretty good. We're going to try to get this up. I tried to get it out of there. You may have some pieces, but this looks so good, we're not going to mess with it. We're going to actually leave it alone because it looks good. And what we're going to do now, now that we've done this, still continue. Check your edges. If you see it hanging, scrape it. That way it doesn't pull your paint off of your canvas. Yeah, you can save your excess paint. Most of the time, I don't because it gets muddy. But it, you know, you may be able to do it for a different art creation, just depending on what type. You know, some people don't have money to go up there and buy paints all the time, so I can understand yeah, saving the paints. But just from experience, it. Does, it never really did a whole. Oh yeah, look at the cell activator going off. Yeah. It's doing it now. See, I like it when it does that. You come back over it again. Keep hitting it with that torch because this is what helps activate the cells. Mm -hmm. Don't know why it does it. It just does. Alright, so pretty much what we got right here is going to be at a standing point. You would you would probably be done, you know, done with it. You would let it sit and let it dry, but the main thing is, is getting it off of here. Now, up underneath here, I got pegs or thumbtacks where you can lift this up. If Jamie would be so kind to move some of this so we can set it down. Move all that at the end of the table. That right there, because I need to put it where the camera is. And you, whenever you pick this up, you don't want to be tilting it, especially if you've got a design that you like. Jamie's trying to save the paint down here right now. No, it's fine. It's up. It don't matter. Watch. Watch. In case I have to add more, you can you can kind of touch it on the sides. It ain't gonna hurt anything. And then you want to set it down, right? We'll try to get it over here where, right there. There you go. We will try to scoot it up where you can see it. I haven't really been focusing on the camera, but now you got art on your table, which you really don't want that on your table. But 
but it's cool. You want to be careful around this. Any type of moving, like this mess that, that's going on on the side over here that y'all don't see, you probably want to try to avoid until you can get your painting in a safe area, which the safest area that I done found in a house, if you've got cats or animals that are nosy and won't stay out of everything, uh, get you a cookie sheet, a big cookie sheet, put it on the bottom shelf, and then take this and set it on the shelf above it. The glue will peel right off of, or the glue paint, that's basically what it is, will peel off of, uh, you know, metal. It won't, like, stick to it where you can't get it off. So it's not, you know, if a little bit gets on your tray in the oven, you know, you may have some weird smells the next time you cook, but it ain't, you know, it's not going to ruin your oven. No reason to, you know, flip out or, you know, get uh, uh, barn soaked in the bathroom by your wife. But, uh, yeah, so that's how you do some, that's some liquid pour arts. That's the first one for Haley. This is actually her birthday pour. This is her first one. And it we're going to... And it looks great. Like the colors you choose, they turn they turned out really good. Uh, and then you also got to think whenever that white dries, that's going to actually be a translucent color. It's not going to be white. Yeah, don't know what color it's going to be. We don't know what it's going to be yet. It's going to be like a golden blue and whatever the top of this thing is. That's what it's going to look like afterwards. But you're going to have other colors that are going to do it. But you can see that the cells, which one the cells are coming through on. Can can we, uh, before we slop some paint on this, can you hold off? Anything, huh? Yeah, just like a whole cell phone got dropped in one of yours. That was the first one. It was not. I've learned. Uh, you ain't learned because you're still doing the same stuff. My phone is have to be telling you this. not to do stuff if you're still doing it. My yeah, right Jamie's here. first pour, whenever she took over this, as I got into the art stuff, I was doing Bob Ross Arts. This is the story of liquid arts in our house. So I started watching this other form of art because I know eventually I'm going to go blind. Uh, there ain't no doubt about it. And with this stuff, I can still create art. I may not be able to see in detail enough to paint like a mountain or a forest or whatever. But if I can yes, still can. see color, don't touch, don't touch it. it. You will ruin your own. You put a fingerprint in there, you will ruin it. I can guarantee you, you will ruin it. That's the biggest thing with her. She'll create the best stuff and then jack it all up because she ain't paying attention to what she's doing. This stuff is real. This is like the most delicate stage of the painting. It can get ruined so easily. Come back over it one more time with a torch because this thing's got bubbles all in it. You want me to turn the oven on? No, no, we're uh, not yet. I'm gonna let it still get some fan dry on it first. Before, I mean, y'all can go ahead and really move it into the oven, but the main thing that you're looking for, Jamie's trying to rush so we can move to the next one, no, is you want to keep. The we're doing it, you want to keep scraping these underside edges, not the outside edges where you can see it, the underside. Make sure it's not pulling any paint off of your canvas because as long as it's dripping, it's attaching to itself and pulling it off. So, see, I didn't, I only got a little bit that time, so the paint has almost stopped flowing now. The bubbles are a little, sort of look like gauge skin, sort of. It looks it's a different color. It's beautiful. You, baby. whenever this dries, this is going to look so good like it is going to be like you can see all the different types of little cells that you're not going to be able to see until it dries and those cells grow yeah they, they may be really small right now but they'll take off and if you really want it to sell up like see this area that didn't really have a lot of cell it's got paint up underneath there and i will show you another trick where does that cell activator at hand me a toothpick so here's another little trick that you can do if you've got a blah area like this. This is a blah area. It don't have a whole lot of natural color to it. So I'm just gonna, just gonna move on, baby. 
So you take this, take your toothpick, tilt your cell activator over, and you just, boom, you just touch it. And everywhere you touch, see? See how it's starting to make dots? But the, the other cell activator that I've seen uh, a lot of these YouTubers use, this cell activator is cell medium. It's not as really good as what I've seen now. Coconut oil, I'll have to be for sure, I'll have to look at it, but uh, that's hardener. That's, if, that's for covering. Yeah. Um, we probably should have used a little bit more of this stuff because it's not really strong. Uh, like I thought it was going to be. Like, see, I added it there and it didn't bring out hardly any of the black. So, there's another way of doing this, too. You can get a real fine paintbrush. I know this will do it. And you stick it off in the end of there and get you a drop. And then you touch it. Just like that. See how uh, it's still activating now? Yep. Oh, look at there. We got some purples coming up. Wipe it with your finger. Get you some more cell activator. Yeah, now we put my Crisco. Just touch, just touch an area. You ain't got to get all crazy with it. If you want to bring out some color in the area, you can do it. Huh? No, I don't want to mess with that. All that looks good. We may do some in that green, but this looks, I wouldn't change that for nothing. We're just trying to disperse some of this, uh, some of this other stuff over here. But, uh, it looks like you can't actually add too much of this stuff, too. So, but what it is, is this blue paint was thicker. See how these colors are starting to come through where I barely touched it at? And that's what you're going for. So we're going to put a little bit of cell activator right there. A little bit goes a long way. You just touch it. Give it a white. Pick up some more cell activator. We'll come over here and we'll try this area. Oop. 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 And we'll see what happens. And like I said, these cells are going to grow. Yeah, that cell activator dried up really quick. Like, whenever I poured it out, it ain't like the coconut. The way I've seen them used on the, on the other videos. You see where the cap is? Because I'm like completely blind and I do not see it. Thank you. So you can't see that stuff. For the most part of it, y'all guys are seeing everything on the recording, but see, there we go. We got some cell going off. We got some cell stuff. You just, you just got to give it time. It'll expand. And another thing, run back over it with the torch. A lot of people will be like, oh, well, eventually it will pull some more paint into here and if it messes it up and you don't like the way it looks or you know it's like well that, that ain't what I really wanted and you know it's it's kind of got some boo-boo stuff happening so you want to try to find a matching color and what you can do is where it separated it all the way out you can add a dot add a dot this will fix your, it'll also help your cell media. It will flatten out, even though it looks like it's clumping down on there, unless we get a wonderful clump from our glue. 
which can happen, but so far I ain't getting nothing on the. Let's see, that one didn't do very good. I accidentally bumped the side. And see, that's the reason why I said, guys, if you accidentally bump the sides, don't go scraping your paint up and trying to put everything up because then you can pick up some of this good vibrant blue paint and lay it right on there boom fix done right where you touched it because i had to fix a whole cell phone falling into one one time <laughs> which was kind of funny because it looked amazing it was so good and then right in the middle of it which one was it <laughs> it was her phone she dropped her phone into it, was it. Pink and the one that looked like uh, tree rings, like if you cut a tree in you half. Dropped your phone in that one? Yeah, it was an accident. Yeah, it's got the sharp one, and all of a sudden it's got the see, drops. Got, and, and what I'm saying by, see, all this is cells right here, these little dots. See, it did really good over here. I don't know why the cell transformation didn't work very well, but I do like the the marble look. It, this is a this is an amazing painting. This looks really good. Yeah. And we're gonna run over it and one sort of more time. Like waves it away. It's something that you cannot mimic with a paintbrush. That you cannot do this with a paintbrush. That's the only only way. Buddy, hold on, we're recording right now. We'll come in there and check you out, but that's the that's Haley's first birthday pour. We're gonna I'm gonna let her work on another one which is gonna use well let me get it out of here. Sorry for the bag. Don't you have enough? You have another one right now. I know, but you need, you need four. This is a four. See, it's got four individual slots. So what you do is you pick out your favorite four, which we already know which one. We're just going to leave this one out because that one's got problems. We have pinks over there. And we got other ones. And you pour it up, and this is what you call a Dutch pour. And you put out your black and you can pour it in the center and you can do different designs and but you pour it out real slow whenever you do it. That's we're gonna do that one next. But this one This is probably my favorite paint part. You say this one's your now see how this one's got a big old dot where it goes down to the canvas? You don't want that. You wanna take some of this thick stuff that you know we're probably not gonna use a whole lot of because it had some issues. Oh no, I'm gonna use it. I don't know, Jamie will to use it. You fill up the, like the, the holes color. where it, it spreads out to the canvas. You don't ever really want a, a dot going it. straight to the canvas. Well, I'm not going to waste it either, baby. But, I mean, it looks good. It looks, it looks really good. No, no, none of these can actually look wrong. I mean, that's the whole point in doing this is you got different reactions. Now, I wonder what would happen if you took some of that cell media and put it in a spray bottle and from a distance, you misted it over it. We might have to try that. Just to see. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. This is the very first one. We got another video, but I think I'm just going to probably edit it out because we had some technical difficulties. <laughs> but uh, anyways, we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.